better. There you go. You know, just a little seven add there. Um, like I said, actually for the entire song, that last seven that you see, that that end on, on the A string, um, you don't have to have that. I, I believe the bass really doesn't do that. I don't know, but I have I have that there just for fun. So. Come back to the seven. That's all you're doing. Yeah. Um, like I, I got the tab up. You know, whatever you need. You know, if you need any more help, um, just gotta do. And then there's that. There's that really insane. Really insane four to five that you're doing right there. You know, I don't know when you're ever gonna learn that. Um. But here's uh, where uh, you know. Uh, here's where people get uh, you know. There, there's one more, one more chorus. You know, people do that. Then uh, here's where people get confused. The last part of the song. And this is uh, this this is where it kind of gets a little tricky. But it's okay. I mean, you'll learn it. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, we're doing the solo, you know? You know, that little, little solo guitar does, you know, I'm not, I'm not really supposed to be doing that on this instrument. But here's what you're doing. This is, these, I'm going to play the entire solo part on the bass, okay? Right there, okay. Um, starts off at the th third fret A string, A string. Now, I don't, if you guys don't know what A, E, and A are, E is the first string on a four string bass. A is the second string. I got a five string bass. Ignore this B string up here, because I, I don't know some some people look at it and like, Jesus Christ, what is that big thick one on top? You know, it's, it, this is it's just a B string. Don't worry about this. But uh, assume that I'm just using a four string, just this bottom four strings, okay? Just making sure you know. But um. 3rd fret on the A string, and then 3rd fret on the E string, and then 5 to 7 on the A string. Right? And then do the same thing again. You know, so 3 and then 3, right? 3rd on the A, 3rd on the E. 2nd fret on the A string. Right? And then do the same thing again. You know how to do that part. And then three to two on the A string, right? So there you go. Now there's two choruses after that. Two choruses after that, and you're doing this right here. You know how to do the first part, right? You just gotta do that two times, that, that measure to the, the riff right there, two times, and then here's a little trick then. The third time, that's six to seven. Instead of five to seven, you're going six to seven. It's the same principle as the first chorus. You know, just doing it up here. You know, just, you know a, little, a, little, a, little higher, a little higher notes. Just, you know, it's fine. I'll do that twice, so... Fifth fret on the A string, which is a D note, so it ends right there. You are done with the song. You are finished. Um, like I said, there's another guy on YouTube that teaches how to play the song on bass. Uh, you guys can check him out too. I'm not gonna, you know, say I'm a better teacher or not, but uh, these I was requested a bunch of times from people that came up right up to me and they're like, you know, dude, I need you to, 
you know, the little base cover you did on, you know, I don't know how you did that, but can you do it for me? And I'm like, you know what, I will do it for you. And there you go. As much as anybody else that's one that wants to learn a song on bass, uh, it's a really good song for, you know, for a uh, nice, you know, for an alternative pop band to, like, you know, you guys can cover it, too. It's really nice to, really fun to play, a really nice warm-up song, if you will, whatever you want to do. I mean, it, it's, it gets up the, um, you know, the feel and things like that. Really fun to play, really upbeat type of thing. And, you know, if you watch out the video, I mean, the, I guess people think, you know, Stacey's mom would be gorgeous in the video. So, you know, check out Stacey's mom, Fountains of Wayne. Um, good band and good song. Um, if you have any questions, I want, you know, text comments. You guys can PM me. Uh, you guys can send me some videos of yourself talking to me, whatever you want. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. I know uh, people are probably going to complain about the fact that sometimes on the shots that I was taking, the neck was kind of, you know, kind of past the shot, and you guys couldn't see the second fret. If you guys need to know, here's the second fret. The second fret is, uh, you see, there's the, there's the first fret, this little space, second space right here. That's where the second fret is. You're going to be using that. I really don't think you guys need to see where in the neck it is. Um, you guys should know where the second fret is uh, when I, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that some people do complain about that kind of thing. Um, you guys will be, uh, you guys will get it if it's that big of a problem and it, you know, becomes that big of a supplementary problem. Let me know and I will redo the video and I will make sure that this entire neck is on the shot. Um, but, uh, you know, I was sitting, you know, I was sitting like this and sometimes you don't get to see this part of the neck and whatever, but you should know where I'm, you know, where I'm at. I could just, you know, you know do what I gotta do right up here. But, um, thanks again for watching.